AI seems to be everywhere at the moment. And one thing that I've been doing within my business is trying to figure out how we can utilize AI to improve our SEO processes. So I'm gonna be talking about ChatGPT today, which already has really good functionality in terms of improving your SEO processes. But I'm gonna pair that with a new Chrome extension, which I've discovered, which really enhances the way that ChatGPT works. And it gives you a bunch of predefined prompts, which really makes your workflow with SEO a lot easier. Honestly, this is gonna blow your mind, so let's go. So so the first thing that you're going to need is a Chrome extension called AIPRM for ChatGPT. So it's this one here. So make sure that you can just go to Chrome Web Store, uh, search AIP, uh, AI, AIRPM and install that to your Chrome. Now I'll leave a link to it in the description so you can go and check that out. But what this tool does, it completely transforms your ChatGPT environment. And this is what it now looks like. So once we have that Chrome extension installed, you can see it up here. That is installed and it is activated. And you can see that we have a ton of new prompts within ChatGPT. Again, okay, now looking at this, we have the option to write what's called an outrank article. So you can outrank the competition with in-depth SEO optimized article based on your competition. And as someone that looks at the competition in order to try and beat them, uh, we focus on reverse engineering success by focusing on competitors and doing what they're doing, but doing it better. This is a very, very cool tool that we can now come, we can now go and find a competitor. So if I just put in Dermal Fellows London, okay. Um, we've done some work in the aesthetic niche. So I am just looking at this. Uh, so what have we got? So Dermal Fellows. So I'm just going to click on this page um, let's just put that into ChatGPT. So I'm gonna click this Outrank article and I'm gonna pop that in there. Let's just see what it does. Cool, so it's given us uh, a bit of an introduction which is talking about SEO and high-end copywriting. Uh, so what have we got? We've got a title, Achieving a Youthful Appearance with Dermal Fillers, uh, subheading, What are Dermal Fillers? And then we've got a paragraph. Cool, so it's, it's writing that content out for us which is really nice. Okay, looking at the heading, so What are Dermal Fillers? Then we've got a paragraph text, and then we've got subheading, how do dermal fillers work? So I can assume that it's taking this content from this page. So we've got what are dermal fillers, how do dermal fillers work? What are the benefits of dermal filler treatment? Um, okay, so it's reworded that. So it's taken the content and it's, it's rewording it, which is nice. So that has already, I mean, it's still going. It's already massively sped up the process of taking an article that exists and making it better. Okay, so we've got also a mermaid syntax diagram. Um, I actually didn't know what that is. And then we've got the conclusion with, uh, I'm assuming there's a call to action in here with a range of benefits to customize treatment options. For following longer skin, so we regularly follow treatments, results, dermal filler can last a year or more. Okay, so there's no real strong call to action here for a sales-based page. But still, that's really cool. It's taken a predefined prompt and it's by simply inputting a URL, it's written all of this content for us, which is super, super crazy fast. So what else have we got? So fully SEO optimized article, including meta, description, and FAQs, 100% unique, plagiarism free. So if we were to do this, all we need to do here is input keyword or a title. So I'm going to put dermal fillers in London I would imagine that would be the keyword in this instance. And we are, let's say we're creating a page that we want to rank for dermal filler services based in London. So let's see what this gives us. Cool, so it's output in the title, dermal fillers in London, your ultimate guide to achieving a youthful look. That's nice, I like that. Great, so it's also given us a meta description. So there will be a question as to whether that's the meta title uh, I guess it, it would very much work. Uh, and it could also be your page title. Um, we've got our H1 in the title there as well. So it's bringing in our keyword, which is really nice. We've got an introduction and then we've got headings. Okay, now that this is finished up, uh, it's super interesting what it's given us. So it's given us an introduction, um, but it's also given us headings that we could use in order to build out an article for dermal fillers in London. So it's given us a collection of headings as well as subheadings for each. So more than anything, this has given us an outline. So this isn't a fully written page, piece of page content. This 
is just an overview. Um, but it's also given us bullet points, uh, which is interesting, uh, just a, and given an overview of the benefits of dermal fillers, I believe. And it's also given us FAQs, which is really nice. Uh, and it's only, I mean, it's only given us two FAQs. So I'd, I'd argue that <laughs> this isn't quite there. Um, this this one in particular, by all means, like give it a go and maybe try or spend a bit of time testing different titles or keywords. Um, but still, we've got a lot of information here. We've got the title, we've got the meta description, which is super nice. Uh, next, what else we've got on here? So mid journey prompt generator. So that's not SEO based, um, not SEO based. Uh, so we've got keyword strategy. So if you're doing your keyword research, we could put in Dermal Fillers London. So if we are going through the process of doing keyword research, which is a fundamental part of any SEO campaign, we can use this tool within ChatGPT to uh, speed up that process. So let's have a look at what it returns. All right, so keyword cluster, keyword. So it's building a table, but that's nice. Uh, so types of dermal filler, keyword hyaluronic acid fillers, awesome. So it's already understanding the types of dermal filler that exists and it's implementing that as keywords. And that's really smart. And then we've got the search intent. So this is informational. Okay, we've got types of dermal fillers. So that could make a very good blog article. We've got the meta description. Uh, what's the other one? Radiance, uh, ra radius, radius -y? Uh, All right, next, uh, we've got another informational one, which is given as the title and the description. Sculptra, information and all. Another informational one. So, Awesome, so I've just taken a moment to allow this to do its thing and there are loads here. So if you're doing keyword research and you're looking at keyword uh, inspiration for keywords or other keyword ideas, we have a very in-depth list of relatable keywords to this individual keyword along with its search intent, an example of a title and a meta description. Uh, so way more information than you would perhaps need at the initial stages of keyword research but still nonetheless, that is really, really cool. And that's taken literally two minutes for it to spit that out, okay? <laughs> okay, there's way more things on here that you can go and explore, like human written plagiarism free content, uh, which is really nice because one of my concerns is that AI written content could potentially in the future be penalized by the likes of Google because it would have traces of AI uh, bots writing that content and it wouldn't sound or flow like a human does. Now this is saying that it's human written plagiarism free so hopefully ChatGPT has found a way to write those articles in a way that isn't AI traceable. Uh, so that's nice. Keyword strategy. So that's being able to take an article, uh, paste that article in and have ChatGPT rewrite it for you. So guys, honestly, there's some really good stuff here. So I definitely recommend that you go and check out AIPRM for ChatGPT to really like skyrocket the facilities within ChatGPT when it comes to SEO and your SEO processes. And so hopefully you found that valuable. I honestly, I'm loving using ChatGPT and seeing how we can improve the processes within our own business when it comes to SEO, just so we can get more done and get more done for our customers. And if you wanna do the same, I'm sure a tool like this is going to help you as well. Now, if you found that valuable, please do give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And there is more videos coming up on the end screen that you're going to find valuable. So make sure you go and check those out as well. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.